Welcome to the best incorporated soldering tip of the day. This demonstration is going to be performed by Norman Muir, Master IPC Trainer. Today's soldering tip is the installation of a 20 mil pitch TSOP 32 using the multi-lead method. To complete this procedure, your instructor will be using a no-clean flux, tin lead solder in .010 diameter, a bent conical soldering tip, and a large hoof soldering tip. The first step in any soldering process is to clean the board. Wipe the area with a lint-free cloth and isopropyl alcohol to remove any residues or contaminants which may interfere with a proper solder connection. To orient the component on the board, refer to the orientation marks. On this circuit board, the small white triangle indicates pad number 1. On the component, the circular indentation indicates pin 1. Aligning these marks will ensure proper part orientation and polarity. While some misalignment is allowed per the standard, it is a good practice to align the component to the best of your ability. If a fine pitch component like the TSOP is misaligned, there is a greater likelihood of bridging as compared to the wider pitch components. Flux the leads to be soldered. Using a tweezers or other fine pointed tool, hold the component in place. The next step is to temporarily hold the component in place using a tack. For this procedure, tack several leads on both sides of the component by placing the bent conical tip in contact with the lead and pad at the same time. Exchange the bent conical tip for the large hoof tip in your soldering handpiece. Reflux the component leads to help ensure good solder wetting action. Verify that the hoof tip is not oxidized and will easily melt and tack solder by applying solder to the face of the hoof tip. Place the solder wire across the feet of all the leads. Clean the hoof tip. Using a down and out motion, contact the solder, lead, and pad. Do not hesitate on the leads or bridging will occur. If a bridge does occur, clean the soldering iron tip. Flux the bridge. Using the same down and out motion, contact the bridge and sweep it off the leads. If the bridge is not removed completely, repeat the clean, flux, heat procedure until the bridge has been completely removed. When all the leads on one side are complete, rotate the component and solder the opposite side in the same manner. Scrub the area clean with a brush and isopropyl alcohol. Use a circular motion to dissolve any residues or contaminants left on the board. Wipe the area dry using a lint-free cloth. Inspect the component according to the appropriate class of the standard. For a class 3 product, the heel fillet should be a minimum of one lead thickness. There should be solder along the side of the component equal to at least 75% the foot length or three times the width of the lead depending on the lead length. There should also be 75% of the width of the heel connected to the pad with solder. This has been a best incorporated soldering tip of the day, TSOP32 component installation using the multi-lead method. For more soldering tips and training information, please visit our website at www.solder.net.